Hi guys, it's Adamanth here and welcome back to Unavowed. Last time, from what I remember, we had a mysterious ball of light fly around our room. So let's check out what that was. Hi Mandana. Guess what, I'm gonna check if I can touch your swords. Please do not disturb those. God damn. It took centuries to arrange them yeah, just it's centuries to arrange them just the way you like them. <gasps> there we are. What are you, flying ball of light? Hi Logan. Hey, you're finally up. Hey, you you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, same as us, in the tip over there. You set him okay? Is, well, I'm not sure I have the words. Either Magical. Way, here and I'm ready to help out. Mysterious. Anyway, I was told there'd be a meeting or something. Just let me know when it starts. Yeah, what's the ball of light? Uh, I'd like to talk a bit first. There is a ball of light next to you. Of light. That's KK. Seems you guys can see her. <gasps> Eli Hi, KK. Because we're all linked now or something. You'd have to ask him. I couldn't understand two words of it. Okay. A poltergeist should never have formed in the first place, let alone three. How did this happen? It was me again. Yep. <laughs> the demon turned the residents against each other. I mean, you know, that girl poisoned the woman's dog, so it was only reasonable that she murder her, you know? Their souls got corrupted, made them go geist. Go again. I'm going guys. Guys, I'm going guys. doing this? To what end? I admit, I am confused. We all are Mandana, don't worry. I'm usually confused, honestly. Um Vicky hasn't looked at the dead body yet in the village eye. I'm the green horn around here. I just go where I'm told. Okay. Then come with us. Report back when you have new information. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Adjourned. <laughs> he went, guys. He just... Yes. <laughs> I love how everybody, like, one by one is surprised by that. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, no. Vicky. Let's go. Vicky? Vicky Santina? Is Why does you? everybody know oh, Vicky hey, Santina? Corey. How's it going? You know. Standing here in the rain, guarding a wreck. You? Eh, things sucked. Might be getting better. Catch up later. Sure. It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. You don't know each other? He's a cop, isn't he? There's not as many of us as you think. We all talk. I mean, you're a completely different department or something. Yeah. I don't know. Jesus. Did a crate of miracle <laughs> Okay, well, let's touch the corpse. Vicky. Use Vicky on corpse. This the stiff? Yep. Yes. Right. Let's take a look. He's covered in moss. Grass, weeds, it's kind of taken over his skin. According sure to did. Eli's theory, the body is being absorbed by the life energy in this room. What? He's being eaten? Are we safe <laughs> in here? Life energy does not kill. We should be safe. Fine. But if I turn into plant woman, I'm coming after you. Anyway. Good news, his hands are still pretty humanish. And what humanish? <laughs> human hands with human. Okay, so we can identify him based on based on the fingerprints. And got him. That's the easy part. Now I just gotta call in a favor. Yeah, Donnie, it's me. I'm sending you a file. Fingerprints. Wow, over the phone like that? Yeah, it's dead ass urgent. You can't? Oh my man! I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> My bro didn't disappoint. This guy is Harry Taylor, 62 years old, petty thief, homeless since 09. Robbed off the radar nine about years? a year ago. Okay. I know what happened to him. That's about all I can do for now. Is it cool if I take off? I promised Donnie a burger. Oh, okay. So the game is like forcing me to get locked down here. This is uh, not what I expected to see. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm. Well, Logan, talk to the ghost. Hey, you look a bit lost. Maybe we can help. Hello? Who's there? Mandana, did, did yes. you hear the ghost talk? Yes, I did. Perhaps some, um, what does he like call it? Psychic spillover? Psychic so spillover? In our ranks has some useful now we'll all be the best of it. It's awesome. Let me work here. No, <laughs> angry what? Logan. What's going on? Who are you? I'm Logan Brown. This is KK. I don't know you. You don't know me. You shouldn't be here. Say hi, KK. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I can help you. I told you. You don't know me. 
I don't know you. Let's keep it that way. Bullshit, I know your name. Uh, we're here to help. help you, if you'd let us. Get out of here. Get out of here before they come back. Mm, nobody's coming? Nobody's coming. I'm sorry. You're lying. You're trying to make a fool of me. I'm no. Not. I swear I'm not. You need to leave this place. <sighs> mm, you're dead. I hate to be blunt, but you're dead. Your body's right over there. No. This is a place of life. Of healing. Okay. Take your lies and go. <sighs> I know, KK. That never works. Okay, how are you there? You know me? Yeah, I told you I know you. Oh, I see. So it worked. What worked? What do you mean it worked? The pain. What did you do? It's all gone. Ah, <sighs> because you got murdered. Oh, thank God. God damn it. The master is right here. Hi, Jordan. Wendy, they all Jordan. Jordan, but but, but you promised Jordan. Wendy lifted the knife and then. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. She lifted the knife and then she stabbed you. Help you the rest of the way. I see. Will it? Will it hurt? No. The hard part's over. Just take KK's hand, okay? That's cute. <sighs> All right, he's gone. But something doesn't Does seem happy about that. that. Typically happen? No, no, that never happens. Maybe we should get out of here. Yeah, yep. Sounds <laughs> Run. Okay, never mind. Who disturbs my groove? Who disturbs my groove? Mokaresa, it is you. Hi, plant lady. I was wondering if you would ever come back. Have you brought more worshippers at last? So this is how the blood ritual works. Like this is who I had a pact with or whatever. Melkaresa? It is you, is it not? I would recognize those pouty lips anywhere. That spirit was the only worshipper I had left and you destroyed him. I didn't destroy him. That was we no helped him. He was just someone who needed help. So we helped him. Hmm. The bestower. Rare as hen's teeth you are. You cannot resist your nature. I cannot fault you. Nevertheless, huh. Melkaressa and I had an arrangement. What arrangement, I guess? Everything? Yeah, but that's the whole idea. How many times do I have to say it? That was our arrangement. Do you intend to honor it? No. Whatever bargain you struck, it was under false pretenses. Be silent, Jin. I know how your kind twists the truth. You keep interesting company, Melkaresa. I believe I understand now. I you believe I understand them, now. The unavowed. The ones who banished me to the North Woods. Hmm. The North Woods is 80 blocks north of here. I know this. This grove was created with magic that I gave you. Making it an extension of my domain in the North Woods. Completely in line with the terms of my banishment, if not the spirit of them. But that's Jin's for you. Always so literal. A Jin banished you? Would that be <laughs> my father, Kalash? Kalash Prozidi. still lives, and you are his daughter. Indeed, he does. I will give him your regards. Prozidi. Our business is concluded. <laughs> Clear the way now. I will not ask twice. No. I don't believe so. Jesus. A what? Bestower, Melkaresa. She just you zooped her go. straight into the ground. Tell Kalash to come to my grove in the North Woods. I want to renegotiate the terms of our agreement. The zoop. Uh, Mandana? Hello? <laughs> Girlin of the North Woods. It has been. <sighs> Prozid, is that your ex? You should have been there. Why'd you enter the creepy magic forest without the guy that could throw fire? Enough, Mage Beckett. Gerlen can easily defend against fire magic. Your power would have been next to useless. She's wood. It burns. I could have done something. You weren't there. It happened too quick. There's nothing. I mean, yeah. Done. Look at it being pretty honest. Not. 
Guys, we need facts. What would you do against Mandan that is being zooped underground? Anyway, you said you imprisoned her. It was centuries ago. This city was just forming. It was taking over her forest. She resented it. She was a danger. She was hurting people, killing them. I mean, wouldn't you hurt people that are taking over your homeland? Hmm. And my demon let her out. Terrific. Only partially, but perhaps that was the intent. To free Galani. But why? A discussion for another time. After I mean, it seems that my demon is just making pacts with powerful people. Hmm. Well, how was she able to overpower Mandana? I saw Mandana fight that sea monster. She's a freaking badass. <laughs> a freaking badass. Galen is cunning. Her experience extends back thousands of years. Okay, so it's like strength against dexterity. <laughs> Regardless of how badass one is. Ah, <sighs> she said that she wants to she uh, negotiate terms. That means she has something to negotiate with. I mean, Mandana? In other words, Mandana is alive. I have no doubt. I'm coming with you, sir. You know that, right? I would not dream of saying otherwise. Well, I'm going yes, to. Galen knows you. Or at least, she knows the demon that was within you. That can definitely be used. I mean, I know that it's a trap, but and still, I'm still going. Hey, KK and I were there when everything went down. We're going to. You ain't leaving me behind either. This is a negotiation, not a battle. Only the three of us are needed. But your zeal is appreciated. Um, it's obviously a trap. No shit. You don't invite the enemy yep. to your door without a reason. You forget that we're I still going. Her once, when her forest covered this entire island. Now she has only a tiny grove. Her power is only a fraction of what it was. Uh, she seems to be really confident. Okay, let's yes. go. The sooner the better. Oh, this place looks pretty. So where is she keeping Mandana? Galen, you have requested an audience. I am here. Galen! Welcome, oh high and mighty Shin. As a welcome, it is a poor one. Show yourself. Are you out I there? <laughs> my grove, remember? You, you saw, saw to that. To that. But, but I have your precious daughter. She, she is in, in good, good condition. condition. Mostly. Leave her alone! Is that a fire mage? I thought Alden's hunters killed the last Ooh. of you centuries ago. Not all of us. You keep interesting company, Kalash. And you say the same like things as to me with to before. <sighs> Extinguish that fire. She is baiting you. Yep. We are here to negotiate. Yep. With all due respect, sir, she's not playing. Mandana, uh, I'm Paige coming. Beckett, Sorry, I skipped that accidentally. <laughs> uh, what? Let's go. Mandy, come on. <laughs> oh, Mandy. Instead of Mandana. That's cute. Don't worry, I'll get her out. No, Mage Beckett. He lies. Good job, Eli. You did it. So, what do we do? Don't just stand there. So what do we <laughs> Should I get a hat? Should I touch the magic symbols? Should I touch Eli? Yeah. It will take mere seconds for my pets to crush them to death. Can you free them in time? Galen, Probably not. My main power is being called Bobertina, so. Kalash, you've gotten old. I have evolved. You are just as patient as ever. I am Prozidi in third evolution. Grateful. You took my forest and I want it back. Ooh. Free line in the you are no position to bargain. What do you want, Galen? Galen, Galen, I've come to bargain. I want a wish. You grant wishes? <laughs> Silence. The last refuge of a jinn who cannot bear the truth. My forest once covered this entire island. 
Okay, but will the city be gone or will it be like superimposed on one another? Because that would be fun. <laughs> if her whatever she wants. She forgets who she is dealing with. You want a wish, Kalen? Then you must fight for it. Mortal Kombat. Oh. Here is your wish, Galen, in physical form. As long as I live, it will remain encased in crystal. Oh, that's cool. Face me in combat. Kill me, and the crystal will break, granting you what you desire. I have your daughter and pet mage at my mercy. Why should I bargain with you? Because you want a wish? Kill them, and your wish will never be granted. You will remain trapped here forever. What say you? You're sure you can take her? My daughter and Mage Beckett are in danger. Mm. Yeah, no that's fair. I cannot let them perish, not while it is in my power to save them. The traditional rules of engagement apply. What are the they traditional rules of engagement? Then I accept. Let this woman be the witness. Hi, I'm Robertina. Then let us begin. I am ready, Kalash. Whenever you are. If you are going up. to strike. Do not distract. Okay. You will not disturb the battleground. The rules of engagement. Okay, what are the rules of engagement? Can I at least get a hat? No. Touchy? Do not dare touch them. <sighs> the rules of engagement must be obeyed. Okay, rules of engagement. If you are going Oh. <laughs> I get to strike as him, okay. Like a toothless hound. All bark, no bite. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Easy for you, perhaps. <laughs> I haven't swung an axe in centuries. That was one swing. Come on. To the business at hand. Freeing our friends. Yeah. You really thought I could be so easily defeated. Here in my own grove, We should have just dropped a nap on this place. My life from this place. As long as it lives, so do I. As long as it so lives, tired, so, so do soon. I. <sighs> Get up. Give me your best shot. It's the love shot. <sighs> Slasher. Okay. So do I now talk to you? Are you alright? Uh, can you call this off? Okay, what are the rules of engagement? Those of, rules of engagement. Yes, I don't. Please tell me. <laughs> Here, take it. Quick. Gimme. The combatants shall be known as Kalash and Glen. The prisoner that shall remain incarcerated until one of the combatants is dead. Whomever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. The winner shall have their wish granted. It's looking it like it's gonna be her. Tired. What are you doing to me? Konya Makalada. Uh, poison? Hemlock. Yes, my own personal strain. Concentrated so densely, it can even weaken the mighty Jin. So he does poison, right? Get up, old man. I've been waiting centuries for this. Okay, beat her up again. <laughs> This is... this is not going as planned. I think the thing... I think the thing to do here is that the rules said... Um, With bed rest and plenty of fluids, the toxins will just drain out of your body. Yeah, I think the rules said uh, whoever deals the final yeah, blow yeah, shall be declared, right. declared the winner. But it didn't specify that it has to be like one of them, yeah? The combatants shall be known as Kalash and Glenn. Whomever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner, and the winner shall have their wish granted. So I'm afraid that the answer is that we have to kill Prozidi. Maybe I kill her. Uh, I don't think so, Ed. So stabby, I guess. Oh, the terms of engagement. 
you found the loophole. Yep. Whomever deals the death blow is the winner. It is not specified who deals that death blow. Only let it be dealt. Clever. Worthy of any gin worth the name. I cannot defeat her. That is the truth. So do it. Be declared the winner. I don't want to kill Prozidi. Oh, that's sad. Mandana will never forgive me. Okay, yeah, that's what she does. Oh, that's interesting. So we just bring back with the wish. The wish will be powered by my death. Negate that. <laughs> okay, maybe let's not tear a hole in the universe. Please don't waste it. Okay. Well, stabby. What? Impossible. Hi. You cheat! That wish was mine! That wish was mine! It's over, Galen. I have the I have the high ground. Clash one again, but this time he's dead. I can live with that. She speaks true. Father is gone. Sorry, Mandana. Trapping me here. Did he think I'd stay quiet? I would. Oh. Recommend it. Fine. Leave. You have your precious wish. Do with it what you will. Kill you. <laughs> I really want to say this one. That's what my heart tells me, you know, for making me kill Prozidi. This is also very cruel. But I speak of myself as mostly a pacifist, so I, morally I should choose the first option, even if I don't want to, so... <sighs> I wish for this grove to be one of these. You will harm no one. Ever. Sweet. Well-intentioned and futile. Yes, I remain trapped here, but your precious and avowed remains crippled. I consider this a victory. I'll I don't want to fight. Again. It may take centuries. It may take millennia. But I will find a way out. And then she's upset. Let off. her live. After everything, you would let her live. Sorry. Kalash wouldn't want. Don't you dare tell me what my father wouldn't want. Not even I know that. I am sorry. I. No, no, I am not sorry. My father is dead. Yeah, that's fair. I want to go home now. Let's go, Mandana. I think we all deserve a break. Well, sticking to my habit of ending an episode every time we get back to the room, I guess that will be it for today. That was a bit of a shorter segment, you know, just go in there, kill Prozidi and get back. Uh, however, I think that will be quite enough for today. So, thank you very dearly for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!